On today's episode of PJ and the Beard, you may ask, why am I holding a bag of candy from Sweetwater? You may ask that. They, they may. <laughs> he might not ask. He often doesn't like to play a lot around with my shtick. But I'm holding a bag of candy from Sweetwater, and the Beard is going to tell you why. Well, on our newest series, so the second series we've done, we've yes. been doing videos for about a year, the second series we did... Uh, the first was That Leslie Sound. The second was the interview series. The first interview we released was Josh Scott from JHS Pedals. And he was talking about, the day before they were released, he was talking with us about the new PG-14. Mm-hmm. Did I let the cat out of the bag too early? You didn't leave any mystery there, Victoria's Secret. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, we had to get that pedal in and check it out. We so, did. here it is. JHS, and this is a true, like, it actually Legit. might not be in here. <laughs> You're going to open it up, but it's going to be like, they accidentally put the uh, new, I don't know, Joyo Tremolo <laughs> pedal in. If I had an opportunity to switch them, I might have done that. That would have been great. I just brought it over today. Here we go. All right. So, warning info. Which I will tell you, the warranty info, the only time you said it would, wouldn't count is if you skydove out of a helicopter and threw your pedal. I think that was a direct quote from... Other than that, you know, and, and that you should always leave them on and then the switch doesn't break. He did say the first thing that's always in the box yep. is a big there it is red card with warranty that says, hey, look, we get it. They break. Stuff breaks. We'll fix it. So great customer service. Uh, I know you're going to be happy to have a little swag. I'm happy. Instruction man. I'm going to put that over yeah, here. We might need that. Because he'll throw it. I told you I had a lot of knobs. Yeah, it definitely breaks my three knob rule. Yep. Although he's knocking it out of the park with the colors of the the uh, chorus pedal we got. Mm -hmm. Which that purple looks yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you need more purple pedals. And so the blue looks very good too. Oh, signed by Paul Gilbert. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, and a pin. And, and a pick. pick. Because we have an affinity for Josh Scott, but I'm just here to tell you that the Emperor... Didn't have a sticker, or a button, or a pick. The Emperor box was swagless. The Switchback and the Red Remote all had swag. I was severely disappointed, which we haven't done a full episode on that one yet. But we opened it up for the Leslie Sound, and I'm like, where's the stuff? <laughs> Let me just tell you, oh, heartbroken Pat was. Pat likes free stuff. I do. Doesn't do. matter if it's a button or a pick. And again, I've said that, you know, the gravity pick that Josh gives us is proportional to his... Six foot eight frame, I believe, and the the name of the PG fourteen is because both he and Paul Gilbert share the same shoe size, which is fourteen. So, right, and which is about all we know. Yeah, you know, I will say this before we're, we're really going to just plug it in, start to twist knobs to try to find something that we like. Which there could be a million things that we like, but what I find amazing is that somehow Josh Scott has managed to cram two of my favorite guitars in this little box. It's made for Paul Gilbert, who I had the pleasure of seeing live with Billy Sheehan back in the 90s play with Mr. Big. Mind-altering experience having those two on stage together. But in here, Josh has said in several interviews that he has found the only pedal that has done this that can emulate the sound of the Eric Johnson fuzz face run into a Marshall and not chase you out of a room. So he's jammed two of my favorite guitarists into one pedal, but Paul signed it and it's his shoes. So... It's going to be a true plug it in and see what happens. I mean, I'm actually excited and honestly a little nervous. Um, I'm going to be playing uh, PRS 2000 single cut. I don't, didn't know what I wanted to play with this. Uh, into uh, PV Classic 30. And here comes some noise. You have the... Okay. Into a PV Classic 30 with a carbon copy deluxe uh, sitting on top because I can't do anything without the way it's in my pocket. Yes, that is a cable in my pocket. There you go. So here it is, man. It's so exciting to see it. It was so cool that he actually showed it to us the day before he released it, trusting us two boneheads that we're not going to release something. I think he threatened to send the Kansas City mob after us if we did. Yeah, it was. Else. There were some threats. So, man, I can't even see because uh, I'm old. But what the uh, actual controls are, I do, yeah, do need to, I do need to grab this pick. Yeah. Stick a little piece of painter's tape. With a little bit of Velcro on the bottom of that, just to hold it in place. 
because I'm sure it's going to rock in more ways than one. So there it is, uh, securely fastened to the newly uh, created makeshift pedal board. Uh, wow, so you have, um, I'm screaming into the mic here, a volume, okay, going, going pink here, volume, mid, tone, mid frequency are all the pink knobs, and then you have the drive and the push in the black knobs. So volume and drive will, will go with those are pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> push, how hard the input of the circuit is pushed. Essentially, it's a powerful preamp hitting the front of the FET amplifier. Mm. Right is more, left is less. This affects the drive control as well. Tone controls the overall tone of your single good. Mid controls the gain of the mid frequencies. Right is more, less, left is less. Mid frequency selects the range of the mid frequencies the mid knob controls from 400 hertz to 7.5 kilohertz. To the right is high mids, while to the left is low mids. So, wow. Yeah, that's what it takes when you put Paul Gilbert in a box. Uh, so, uh, reference to, I, I guess, going to be obligatory rock A chord, uh, PRS. <laughs> Mission control, here we go. Ooh, a little bright for me. Let's see what we got here. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Scream on the mic. This might have been a bad idea.
We made it loud. What? There was a lot of wankery. Over wanking. What? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of uh, <clears throat> controls with tone shaping and with the drive. I mean, doing this on camera is a little risky because you overplay and, and whatever. But, my goodness. I look forward to... Yeah, it's going to take some... Yeah. Because this is super powerful, right? Mm -hmm. This is your mids. Right. But then this is changing what mid that's affecting. <laughs> so if you go to the left, you're like kind of changing the lower mids, pushing the lower mids. If you go to the right, you're kind of pushing the higher mids. You got the tone that's pushing the whole tone of the thing. And then this kind of push is hitting kind of the preamp of the pedal, right? Like, so, which I probably said that wrong, but it's... So it was driving the circuit. Yeah, there's a ton, ton of stuff going on. Do you want me to plug into that? I think you should. But let me just I'm see something. I'm a little afraid. Let me just see something real quick. I just wanted to see pushing it as hard as you can push it as I scream again into the mic. All right. Uh, probably people will like return their pedal if they already bought one after that playing. But man, I'm really excited to spend a little bit of time and figure it out. Now it's the beard's turn. I don't even know. This I might know. Get, get totally cut out. I didn't know either. Um, it may be like, here's the pedal and then the credits roll. <laughs> I'm going to pull that. Okay. So we switched some things around. Are you not ready? <laughs> All right, so we switched some things around. So we're now, I have my PRS 2000 McCarty plugged into the JHS PG-14 running into the Dispatch Master over into the Fender Hot Rod. I don't know if you said it last time. You were plugged into the PV Classic 30. Uh, had a delay pedal in the effects loop over there. Carbon, um, copy. Yep. carbon copy. So, I guess just... <laughs> My reference tone. Everything at 50? Looks familiar. I don't know if I can even... Oh, my God. 
there's kind of this cool thing that happens with the attack. And I don't know if that's because of this knob, the push knob, and how hard you're hitting the front. I don't want to say like a hesitation, but there's oh. like kind of a... When I had them both dimed, it sounded like the amp was going, Oh, please, you're killing me over here. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's mm-hmm. like a... Mm-hmm. Almost like a compression to it, maybe? Yeah, he's choking that thing, man. Yeah, there's something going on that's kind of cool. Um, although I can't really... Everything pushed all the way up. Mm-hmm. Now I had to roll back considerably, but it's still. Yeah. up like that when you can get it mm-hmm. and go from I'm impressed mm-hmm. it would take hours I think for me yeah. oh, to figure yeah. out six yeah. knobs but I mean the, it, there's not like a bad sound though Right? I mean, there's not... I, I'm not like, ooh, I don't like that at all. Mm-hmm. It's just like, where would be that super, super <laughs> sweet spot? It does. When you get that volume... When you get the, the gain and the push up real high. Like you said, choking it out. Yeah. It does. So you hit a note and you feel like it's like... Oh, like, good lord. Oh, I can't take anymore. And then it just sings. Yeah, it does sing. And it is loud <laughs> in here. Mm-hmm. But, like, I looked over to see if we were, like, peeking the... I'm not sure if it's... All volume, like it's a big sound, mm-hmm. but it's not crushing. Yes. No, because where is it? If you turn the pedal off once, <laughs> blue pedal but yeah all right so should we wrap up because we're gonna have to we're gonna have to revisit this i yeah. think come back and kind of 
figure it out, learn more about it, mm-hmm. come back and then share how we get it dialed in. Yeah, it's just a weird situation. I mean, we wanted to pull it out and, and play it. And I don't know if it's the extra pressure of having talked to Josh about it and he showed it to us and knowing what a player Paul Gilbert is. And then the second reference is Eric Johnson. And then, but you just want to pull it out and get that first experience, right? Great. And, and so a lot of overplaying, a lot of trying to figure things out. Not the most cohesive video we've ever done. But we really wanted to, like... Well, I mean, and keep in mind, you know, most people, I think like us are not playing Paul Gilbert or Eric Johnson riffs. Right? You know, I mean, we're True. getting the pedal because there's tonal know. characteristics of those players right. that I like. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cause probably not. We're doing this for fun. This is the conversation. <laughs> so the whole point of PJ and the beard was let's hang out, play some gear, swap some gear, and invite people into that conversation. So this is a true kind of like, sometimes we do unboxings and quick looks, and they kind of like our quick look is the look. Um, mm-hmm. And we kind of have an idea of where we want to go and how we want to do it. On this one, literally, no idea. Let's pop it out. Let's plug it in. Let's turn mm-hmm. some knobs. Let's get overwhelmed by the fact that there's six knobs on there. And I have a three-knob rule. If you have more than three knobs, I don't know what to do with it. Thank God none of them are push-pull. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So... There it is, the PG-14 from JHH Pedals. And my word, it sounds great. So definitely check out what he's doing uh, over at JHS. And with that, we got new content coming out every Wednesday and every Saturday at noon. And you'll notice this is just kind of a bonus thing. So it's not on one of those days. Yeah. Um, Just kind of a bonus thing. Um, So with that, please subscribe. Hang out with us. Click the like button. And with that, uh, PJ, on behalf of the beard, reminding you, no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear, especially with tennis shoes and pink knobs. And buttons. are you gonna put a? Huh? <laughs> what? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Wait, you're normally the. Do you want mine? Yeah. Uh, that would be the other thing I could do is play a guitar and an amp. That I don't. Let's do it. <laughs> Nothing like moving some air.